we have three amazing new features in Kittle AI, and I'm gonna show you all of them and exactly what you need to know and where to find them in Kittle. Let's dive right in. So here in Kittle, I have this amazing kind of coral reef sea bottom floor design that I made with Kittle AI. You can see the prompt right here and you can see the style down here, obviously. But if I were to move on, for example, I'm ready to move on and I want to do something else. Well, I have to delete that prompt and already I can't exactly remember the words that I was just using. Well, now you can actually find this. So if we go to our folders to find this actual image, what I can do is go over here into the uploads panel and then I can click on my AI generated folder, which is where all of the AI generated uh, material is that you have created. Now you can actually click on these three dots and you are going to see view prompt right here, view prompt. And if I expand that, look at that. It has the nautical sea floor with vibrant fish and reef plants that exactly that was what I typed in as well as the style used. And I can either add the image to the artboard, obviously, or I can go back and use the prompt, which is great if I want to try something different in a different prompt. Let's say I want to do digital art instead, but I wanted that same prompt, or perhaps I wanted it in 16 by 9. I can do that easily going back and finding that prompt history on any of the images that I have made. It's absolutely amazing, a time saver, a game changer. I know you're going to love it. Let me know down in the comments what you think of this new feature. The second new feature is that you now have access to the Kittle AI image library that is right in your editor. Now you don't have to click away and go to another page. You can view all of the amazing content that other creators have used and the prompts that they use. So for example, if I go over here into the images panel, now I can see photos here, but I can also see Kittle AI images right next to it. If I click on Kittle AI images, now I'm going to be able to see everything that is in the Kittle AI image library that other creators have made. So if I hover over any one of these, you can see the little eye symbol. If I click on that eye, it's going to show me the prompt and it is going to show me the digital art that was the, the the style preset that was used. So of course I can click this. It's going to be added to my uh, to my artboard. But if I want to actually use that prompt, similar to the prompt history that you now have, I can click use this prompt. It's going to open up Kittle AI. There it is. Boom. There's the prompt there. And now I can utilize it in whatever style and whatever preset I want to maybe get a completely different aesthetic, a different style, a different vibe. And this is going to be a game changer because you can actually search in the Kittle AI images. Not only can you preset them by tag, so for example, if I only wanted to see all of the vector, I can go ahead and click on vector, and so now it's going to show me everything that is a vector element. So if I get these out of the way and I'm left with the dog here, because it is in the vector tag, I know that this is a vector element that can be changed just like that. Now, I can also uh, search. So, for example, if I wanted to type in something like mascot, it is going to show me everything that is in the mascot category that has been generated with AI. So, you can already see how much of a time saver this is going to be for you and your design process. All right, and then the third amazing new feature is that we have actually just added some new preset styles as well as Patterns. Patterns are now back for all of you that were waiting and wondering where patterns had gone. Well, they're here in Kittle for you. So, so here in Kittle, I have the prompt that I had grabbed from the other one in the Kittle AI uh, library. And if I open up show all, now you can see two additional styles to each uh, image style category. So within this one, we have the retro photo as well as the oil painting that have been added. In the clip art styles, we now have the pixel art, which I am, oh, I'm fired up about that one. I did a whole video on that, which by the way, you can check right here. I love doing that video, as well as the nursery art, a very high searchable key term, especially for those of you selling on Etsy or other clip art pack type stuff, uh, nursery art. And then in the vector styles, we have street art, as well as coloring book, another extremely high searchable key term for KDP, stuff like this. Now you can formulate a whole coloring book, which I think I'm going to put a whole video explaining research to design to uploading. Uh, let me know if you want to see that down in the comments. And then boom, here is just the start to the pattern style. So by no means is all of what you see here going to be, that's it. You know, there's no more. Of course, we're just starting with this. But now you can make 
ink. You can make cute patterns like kawaii styles. You have pat wallpapers and then you have the artistic style. So we're experimenting with these. We're testing them out. We're seeing what patterns work. And so now you can do that. And so, for example, if I have this prompt over here, let's just go ahead and generate something specific. Uh, in the Art Nouveau elements, I, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go for retro photo. And I'm just going to see what happens when I generate this insane detailed prompt in the retro photo style. Oh man, that is so awesome. That is super duper cool. Look at that. I mean, that definitely looks like a crazy retro photo. And that is so cool. The amount of detail that's in it that it took from all of this uh, prompt. Now, what's also great is the image upscaler, which I did a video on. You can go check out. I can now make this even higher resolution by hitting the AI image upscaler. And so images that were popping in kind of small, now you can hit that button. Boom, you can blow them up so that they're super high resolution. Look at this. It already smoothed in, it smoothed out a ton of this and made like even the fox fur a lot more uh, sharp, you know, and oh, this is just so cool. So I hope these three features are going to help you out in your design process. We want to help you as much as possible, bring your design inspiration and vision to life. And one of the ways you can do that is through AI. Obviously, fantastic creation, fantastic project development starts from kind of inspiration and iteration into actually designing and editing on the platform itself. And so we thought that prompt history and new presets and being able to see what other creators are coming up with with their own image styles would be one great way to do that. Now, let me know in the comments, are there other features that you want to see for Kittle AI? Is there anything else that would help you in your creative strategy, design process, whatever it is? Let me know down in the comments and don't forget to check out the feature request board, which you can also find linked down there because that's going to be your first line of defense for actually getting the features known. Of course, commenting is great so that we can see that, but we want you to add those to our feature request board. We want you to upvote other requests that you like. We want you to engage and converse with other people that have similar request features to you. And that's one way that we can see what kind of features we need to work on next. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to Kittle so you don't miss any other updates and features just like this. We will see you in the next video.